Hello and welcome to another video in the series server side swift using vapor so if you guys have been following along throughout the whole series you might notice that the roots.swift file here is getting really big and cluttered so in this video I'll introduce the concept of controllers which will help you manage your roots and models using both basic controllers and restful controllers so first off let's see what controllers are Controllers in Vapor serve a very similar purpose to the controllers in iOS. They handle the interaction from the client such as requests and process them and return the response. Controller provides a better way to organize your code and uh, it's a good practice to have all your interaction with the model in the dedicated controller. Controllers are also used to organize your application. So for example, you may use one controller to manage an older version or a test version of your APIs and another version to manage the current or the production version of the API. This will allow you to clearly separate the responsibilities in your code and will keep your code very maintainable. So let's see how we can implement this in our periodic table application. So let's open up terminal and we'll create a new file here in the controllers folder. So here we are using the touch command of Vapor to create a new file named elements controller.swift. Now before proceeding ahead, make sure that your Docker application is booted up and make sure to start the PostgreSQL database in your system. So I had made a video about how you can configure your PostgreSQL database. So I'll link that, make sure to check that out. This is the command to start our PostgreSQL database. So once our database is running, we can open up Xcode again using the Vapor Xcode-Y. So now we can see that in our controllers folder, there is a new file named Elements Controller. We'll configure all of our controllers here. Now inside the controllers file, we will define different root handlers. And to access these routes, you must register these handlers with the router. A simple way to do this is to call a function inside your controller from the roots.swift file. Vapor provides a protocol root collection to make our controllers very manageable and compatible with our roots file. So let's see how we can make our controller structure. So while we're conforming to the root collection protocol, We have to implement a function which is boot and after this function we can add our handler. And inside the boot function we can register this handler. So this will make a get request at the address api slash elements and call the get all handler. So in our roots.swift file, we can delete this function which returns all of the elements in the from the database. And at the end of the file, we can register our new controller object. Now we can run our application. And we can test this function out in the Postman app. So as you can see, our get all function is still working. So now we can remove all of these roots and make handlers for each of them in our controllers file. Now one thing you'll notice is that the initial path for all of our APIs is the same. 
which is API and element. So what we can do is group all of them together so that our code becomes more maintainable. So in our controller file, inside the boot function, we can register a roots group here. and we can replace this line Now if we run the application, it will work the same way. And now we have greatly simplified our code and made it very easy to maintain. So we can implement all of these routes similarly in the controller file. So now this function, the create handler, will perform the same functions as this route. So we can remove this one and also this one. Similarly, this get handler will perform the same function as this get request. So we can delete this one as well. Next, we can create the update handler. So this handler will have the same functionality as our put request. So we can get rid of this. So this is our delete handler and we can get rid of our delete function. Similarly, we can create a search handler. So this will be the same as our search function and we can get rid of this.
So this will be our get first element function. And finally, we can make our sorted handler. And this function will give us the list of all the elements sorted in an ascending order according to the chemical symbol. Great. So we can try and run this app. And we can test this out in Postman app. So finally, we can register all of our routes in the boot function. So as you can see in the use parameter, we have to mention the name of the handler. And here we are mentioning the parameter that the user will put while making the request and in this if the and in this if the api has any other endpoint aside from api and element this path will be mentioned here so we can go ahead and run our application once So as you might see, all of our APIs are working the same way. And now we have greatly maintained our code. We can stop this over here. So in this video, I showed you the concept of controllers and how important it is for the scalability and maintainability of our code. So thank you guys for watching this one and uh, please stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.